Welcome to Santiago de Compostela Parish. Welcome to Santiago de Compostela Parish. We're glad you're here this morning. We welcome the people who are with us on live stream. We invite you as we now prepare to, to come into a spirit of prayer on this um, celebration as we're out now on our pavilion, but we're still coming together as a community because the one constant in our life is the presence of Jesus Christ. Let us now stand. Let's take a moment to acknowledge the presence of each other as we prepare to begin this celebration. we celebrate the sacred mysteries, we now humbly present ourselves to a loving and compassionate Father. Your glory renews the whole world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You reveal your wisdom to us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You show us the path to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop Saint Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the ardor of his charity. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Woe to Assyria, my rod in anger, my staff in wrath. Against an impious nation I send him, and against the people under my wrath I order him to seize plunder, carry off loot, and tread them down like the mud of the streets. But this is not what he intends, nor does he have this in mind. Rather, it is in his heart to destroy, to make an end of nations, not a few. For he says, 
By my own power, I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am shrewd. I have moved the boundaries of peoples, their treasures I have pillaged, and like a giant, I have put down the enthroned. My hand has seized like a nest the riches of nations. As one takes eggs left alone, so I took in all the earth. No one fluttered a wing, or opened a mouth, or chirped. Will the axe boast against him who hews with it? Will the saw exalt itself above him who wields it? As if a rod could sway him who lifts it, or a staff him who is not wood. Therefore the Lord, the Lord of hosts, will send among his fat ones leanness, and instead of his glory there will be kindling like the kindling of fire. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will not abandon his people. The Lord will not abandon his people. Your people, O Lord, they trample down. Your inheritance they afflict. Widow and stranger they slay. The fatherless they murder. The Lord will not abandon his people. And they say, The Lord sees not. The God of Jacob perceives not. Understand, you senseless ones among the people, and you fools, when will you be wise? The Lord will not abandon his people. Shall he who shaped the ear not hear? Or he who formed the eye not see? Shall he who instructs nations not chastise? He who teaches men knowledge, the Lord will not abandon his people. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor abandon his inheritance. But judgment shall again be with justice, and all the upright of heart shall follow it. The Lord will not abandon his people. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord will not abandon his people. This is what we heard in the, or how we responded in the responsorial psalm 
uh, just a few moments ago. And uh, I recall this right now when we're celebrating because it took a whole day to prepare this place for us so that we can still come together and have our in-person and also our live stream mass rather than just move into the easier way of just live streaming the mass from the church. So I was so tired last night, last night that I forgot to set my alarm. And I was surprised that this morning, at 5 o'clock in the morning, I just opened my eyes and I look at my phone and it is already 5 o'clock. So I have to scramble. But nonetheless, the Lord did not abandon me, so I will not be here. <laughs> That's why I'm here with you celebrating this live stream mass for, from our pavilion. My first learning about our Lord Jesus started from when I was a child. And uh, my first encounter was him, with Him was more relational. We had a statue of Christ the King. I don't know if you have that. The classic one where He is sitting on a throne but not wearing a crown. The crown was on a pillow by His foot and He had a scepter in His hand. I would like sometimes to take the scepter from the hand of our Lord Jesus and hide it if I'm asking something from Him and only give it back when I get what I wanted. But that's how my relationship is with Him. But then I get scared because we have the Corsillo. I don't know if he attended the Corsillo. They have a picture which is called the eye. And ours was lighted from the back. And wherever you go, the eye follows you. So my mom told me, yes, he loves you, he's your king, but make sure because he's watching you everywhere you go. So that also scared me a bit because everywhere I go in the house, Jesus can see me. And then my mom taught me, as she was our first catechist together with our nanny, when she, they told, taught me the prayer of, uh, to the guardian angel, and a prayer also that you say, I don't know if you say it, but I still say it now, now I lay me down to sleep. I pray to you, Lord, my soul to keep. And uh, those were the basic prayers that has gone through me through many ages. That at times when I don't have the right words, I just go back to what is familiar. To what has been sort of the basic and foundation of my faith. And this is how I understood the gospel today. That our relationship with God should not be something that we've just read or learned or we followed because somebody told us that this prayer or that prayer is more effective, this practice or this ritual is something more that God is pleased with. But I think it's more about how my heart connects with the Father. And this is what Jesus is teaching us. And what he's teaching all along scriptures, that it's about the relationship with the Father. The prayer he taught us, the Our Father, was about addressing not the God who is majestic, omnipotent, omnipresent, but a God who is our Father. And who we heard in the previous Gospels days ago that is mindful that not a hair of our head falls without him knowing it. And that is why you could just perhaps understand the frustration God has in our first reading when He said, I've loved you. And how come you do not respond or pay attention to this love? And I think that is where we can reflect. Saints are people who in their own unique way and in their own unique calling was able to respond to God's calling and to be able to relate to God as their father. One of which is the saint whose memorial we recall today and celebrate today, Saint Bonaventure, bishop and doctor of the church. He was baptized as Giovanni and he was supposedly named Bonaventure, which means good fortune, by Saint Francis of Assisi, who cured him of a childhood illness. After joining the Franciscans, he went to the University of Paris to study and teach philosophy and theology. He later served 
as Minister General of the Franciscan Order. And he was beneficial and instrumental in putting back the charism and original spirit of St. Francis to the order, which was in disarray during his time. And that's why he's also called the second founder of the Franciscan order. He was canonized in 1482 and was declared a doctor of the church in 1588. May we learn from him that we cannot rise above ourselves unless a higher power lifts us up. Saint Bonaventure, pray, pray for us. us. The Father reveals the mysteries of the kingdom to the little ones. Let us pray to our God who shows such love for small and simple people. <clears throat> we bring all our needs before our Heavenly Father, confident of His loving care. Our response this morning is, Heavenly Father, bless your children. Heavenly Father, bless your children that the church may give preferential option to the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, bless your children. That government leaders may listen to the needs and cries of the humblest citizens. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, bless your children. That children may get to know God by our teaching and our examples. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, bless your children. That the sick may find comfort and healing in the care and concern of those who nurse them. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, bless your children. That all those who have died may enjoy the everlasting happiness of the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, bless your children. We lift up to the Lord the intentions and petitions we hold dear in our hearts for our families and our loved ones. We pray for the intentions of Luis Mora and Teresa Planta for whom this Mass is being offered. We remember the intentions that we receive online. We pray for Nina Colubna Haley and for Angeles Tan Cardoso, who remember the eternal repose of the souls of Noemi Garibay, Kathleen Sofka, and Carmen Dinglasen. We remember the intentions we have placed in our Ark of Prayer chest, as well as those we hold dear unspoken in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, bless your, your children. children. Lord Jesus Christ, make us wise with your wisdom and help us follow you in the humble way you have shown us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, 
Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast of blessed Saint Bonaventure be pleasing to you, O Lord. For taught by him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. <clears throat> Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Bonaventure, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenisum Celi et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this, in memory of me. The mist 
mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death O Lord until you come again until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, Saint Bonaventure, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Anius Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Anius
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon Those who are wise will shine brightly like the splendor of the firmament and those who lead many to justice shall be like the stars forever and Now together we join those who are praying with us through the internet with the spiritual communion prayer my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Through Christ, the teacher, O Lord, instruct to feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of blessed Saint Bonaventure, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. We now pray to our loving Mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast unto hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. Let us build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. A place where saints and sinners dwell, their hearts learn to forgive. Build up hopes and dreams and visions, rock of faith and vault of grace. Hear the love of Christ. Thank you for joining us today, both on the internet and here in, in our parish. We invite you to join us today at 11 a.m. for Santiago Speaks, which is a Zoom meeting um, with Father Thomas and Father Martin. There's information on our website um, for how to join that meeting, or as well as Facebook page. And we hope to see you tonight for adoration, either on the internet or here in person. May God bless you today. We also have the 8 o'clock in person Mass today here at the Open Pavilion. Although it's not going to be live streamed, you are more than welcome to join us. Have a blessed day.